Hi there, Save with Crypto. Uh, I just wanted to show you what the uh, general weekly rewards are looking like for um, the Multiverse X, X Exchange. Um, you know, just because, well, just because really. Um, obviously, this is quite a, a large account. So let's just claim what's owed. So we're talking like 157 bucks worth of XMEX. Uh, negligible amounts of everything else there. $12.50 of XMEX there. Pretty much negligible amounts there. Now, this lot here, you don't have to claim. And if you've got a very, very small account, then it probably wouldn't make any sense to actually try and claim it. Uh, because the actual fees would probably outweigh what it's all worth, really. But here I've got, you know, a reasonable account, so it's generally going to be worth it. Confirm all this stuff. There's a lot of transactions to sign. So you see all this here. Okay, so that's that claiming. Uh, there's also metabonding to claim from yesterday. So let's do that. Uh, let's get rid of these. Okay, so we're going to get some cents for fit, a bit of U-Trust, a little bit of ZoiPay. Okay, let's just claim it anyway. Now, when we do this on the X-Portal app, it's only, I think, one tra one transaction you need to sign, which is cool. Okay, so that's that. Let's have a quick look in MetaSaking to see if there's anything worth having here. There's 116 of Ride. Not really worth it. Uh, $13 of UTK. That's probably worth it. Um, minute amount of CRT. That's probably about it, really. Okay, so overall, I've got $109 worth of stuff to play with. If we look at the lock tokens, you can see now that I've got $698 worth that unlocks on February the 24th, 2027. Uh, 71 million XMAX, which is worth $537, that will unlock on January the 25th, 2027. So it's all very far in the future, isn't it? Uh, my plan is to just leave these as, the, as they are. And my first one will unlock on October the 27th, 2026. Now then, let's just have a little think about um, what you can do with this XMAX. Because if you wanted, you know, this lot here, say, this unlocks, as I said, October the 27th, 2026, which is uh, quite a way in the future. Now, if I wanted to unlock that now, right, I want to unlock it all, what would happen was I would suffer this unlock fee which you can see is quite large you know so we're talking about um swapping out one what's that a bit is that one two three yeah 1.1 billion uh x max and i would actually have an unlock fee of 872 million okay so i would end up with like you know this many max which isn't that much you know it's like a, a quarter of a billion uh max and um, <clears throat> that to me isn't worth doing. Now, I know that people like uh, Stephen from Podcast Arond, uh, he religiously, I believe, every every time he does a claim, he will go to the um, energy and then he will lock everything for like four years and, you know, increase the amount of energy he's got. Therefore, the amount of reward he's getting in the meta bonding. Um, and, you know, that, is probably quite considerable, really. That would give an energy increase of 135 uh, million or something. I don't know, whatever. But, um, you know, it, uh, that's what he does because he wants to get the maximum meta bonding rewards. Now, the difference between me and Stephen is he's 20 something and I'm not. I'm a lot more. <laughs> let's, let's, let's say that. So, uh, you know, for me, something like 2027 is like quite a way in the future. And to be honest, with the way people have been dying around me recently, um, you know, I want to make sure I've got some money to play with. 
in the next few years, you know, because, uh, you know, that's when I'm sort of looking at, you know, retirement, enjoying, you know, life and uh, living on my crypto earnings. So, so this is my plan. I think something like 2026 is uh, a reasonable aim for me to sort of think, okay, that's when I'm going to start chilling a bit, um, probably not doing so much of my normal work and, uh, you know, living on the, the benefits of this. So if, for example, the, you know, X mix is paying me uh, eight grand this month and 660 the month after 520, 542, 704, that kind of thing, that's all good. And of course, what we are relying on is uh, the price of MEX, something like it is now, but hopefully uh, a lot more. Now, if you look at the price of MEX, you know, it's really depressing. I mean, the chart looks something like this, which is just, you know, permanently going down. Now, the reason it's going down, particularly now, although I would say it does look like it is starting to bottom a little bit. Um, the reason it is going down now is because people who decided to not convert their LKMEX into XMEX, uh, their LKMEX unlocks every month and uh, they're able to sell it uh, with no penalty. The penalty they are paying is the fact that MEX is worth basically bugger all compared to what it was worth about a year ago. Um, so you know, they're, they're suffering that way, but you know a lot of them feel like you know they're fed up with the decks and it's time to get out. So they are selling their MEX and that is making the price of MEX go down. Now those unlock uh, periods uh, with LK MEX finish in March 2024. So I think come March 2024, next year, less than a year away, we'll probably see the bottom of MEX. And after that, it will go up, you know, which is why I'm hoping that, you know, the price of these kind of bunches of XMEX here is going to be a lot more, you know. I mean, I'm hoping these will be, you know, a few thousand, say, each month, you know, and that's what I'll be getting paid from 2026 onwards. And, uh, and that will probably be me slowly exiting the Multiverse X system if I decide to, you know, that's what I want to do. And it purely is because I've probably got a lot less life left in me than, say, Stephen from Podcast Elrond. But yeah, that's why I'm not energising my um, XMEX all the time. But you can do if you want to. And I'll probably suggest that if you're in your 20s or in your 30s, like most of my audience, I believe, are, then it might be a thing to do, you know, is to, you know, every time you come in here and look at your locked rewards, increase the energy, increase it up to four years and have it in your mind that, you know, for any point you're going to want to withdraw your XMEX, you're either going to have to wait four years or you're going to have to suffer a massive penalty. But the rewards, meanwhile, may be well worth it because you're going to get a lot more in the meta bonding than what I do at the moment. Now, the other thing about all this is everyone is so negative about Multiverse X and they didn't used to be. And it's it's basically when they introduced all this energy stuff. And to me, a lot of the stuff that got talked about at the X day last autumn seemed pretty rubbish, to be honest. You know, I mean, I could see the, the vision, but the idea of the, the energy and all that, you know, people were just, I, I kind of got the impression a lot of people were just thinking, what the hell's going on? And, uh, you know, can they not make this more confusing? And uh, it certainly is more confusing. I think that's why a lot of people are not into it anymore. Now, to me, that makes it worthwhile investing in. So that's why I'm not jumping ship. That's why I'm keeping my XMEX. That's why I'm not selling any. Um, and that is basically me moving forward. Now, I think things are going to really improve. Uh, there's a lot of stuff going to happen. There's going to be the uh, cards you know, the visa cards so people actually might actually start using it for everyday purposes because at the moment you know although i love the x portal on my phone i keep thinking what's the actual purpose of it you know what's it on my phone for i mean i can't i can't use it to pay for anything with all i can do is swap between various assets like swap zoid pay for e-gold that kind of thing it would be really handy if say for example i could you know harvest some e-gold put it on a card and then spend it but i don't think it's going to happen like that very quickly i do however think that kind of thing is going to happen faster and hopefully more efficiently with zoid pay i am kind of favoring zoid pay 
uh, as something that might become more useful to me. And in particular, the ZoidPay app that's coming out sometime this quarter, I think is going to be more useful to me than, say, the X portal is. I think they're both going to be great, but my money is on ZoidPay. Anyway, I'd love to know what you think. And uh, if you've kind of given up on the decks totally or you think it's all a bit mad or something. Um, I mean, one thing I would say is that everything I listen to with uh, Benjamin Minku, I kind of listen to what he's saying and uh, I, I never quite understand exactly what he said. As I once said before, you know, for a guy whose second language is probably English, uh, he uses some very complicated language <laughs> and uh, sometimes it's a bit hard to follow. But uh, I think he's, I think that's because he's more of a philosophical kind of guy and, uh, you know, often talks about the future in a kind of philosophical way as opposed to this is what we're going to do. So that's my thoughts about that. Anyway, I'd love to hear what you think. So uh, please do leave a comment while you're down there. Give the video a like. Make sure you're subscribed. And above all, tell your friends.